Hello and welcome to Imperator Invictus, the very ambitious Vanilla Plus mod made to kind of take over where the uh, Imperator developers um, abandoned it. Left off. Left off is probably the more diplomatic way to say that. Um, yeah, so we're going to be playing some Invictus because it's just had a big update. And I think it is about time that we start doing a run. Um, the reason we have not done one for YouTube yet is because I had plans. I was like, you know, I was really interested in the new uh, system that they had implemented for the Galatian migrations. And I thought, you know what, I'll play that. That's going to be my first run. And then, unfortunately, um, well, that just never came to pass. Uh, the the there was some um, I think they need we wanted to add some mission trees and I don't think they got added and then it kept getting held back and different updates came and went and they, you know I it just you know there was a bit of a bit of a delay right but it's fine we're gonna set that aside and we're going to start playing as the nation that was voted for so I did a poll on my YouTube community page we got one and a half thousand people voting in it as well and. 34% of people said that I should play as Judea and form Israel. Now, Israel, you may ask, that's not that's not a tag. That's not a tag at all. And, and you would almost be right um, if you were talking about vanilla, right? Because it's not a tag in vanilla. But Judea can absolutely form Israel in Imperator Invictus. So that is what we are going to try and do. Let's start as Simon the First. Zagotike, Zadokit, Zadokite? I, I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Judea was until recently a province of the Persian Achaemenid Empire, though nominally independent and ruled by Jewish governors. After the conquest of Alexander the Great a few decades ago, Judea has fallen under the rule of Hellenistic empires. The country once again sits in a perilous position with Alexander's generals jostling for supremacy over parts of his empire. So it is time for us to make history. What have we got going on as Judea? Well, in contrast to Vanilla, Judea starts, of course, with Simon the First Zedekite, which is actually the same as in Vanilla, but we also have the blood of Zedok, because the Bloodlines mod has been added to Imperator Invictus, which is kind of cool. So, as ruler, we get plus 10% omen power, we get plus 5% religious tech investment. If we are commander, our light infantry will have a bit more defense as well, and there is more local fort defense in all of the forts that we own in the... Close you. Can, can I see? Can, Canaan region, because this has also been renamed from Palestine to Canaan, which is awesome. We also start with something a bit special. We start with the second temple, which looks beautiful. It also gives us the Passover ceremony. So our state religion happiness is up by 20%. Our omen power is up by 20%. And our monthly stability change is plus 0.08, which means our stability is going up quite nicely. We have a very nice uh, baseline with which to work from, which is fantastic. There are also some new missions for Judea, so we can choose between the Promised Land and the Matter of Canaan. So the Promised Lands, have a look at this one. For centuries, the Jews have been confined to Palestine and some corners of Arabia. There are holy places and ancestral burial sites in the hands of usurpers. It's time to take back what belongs rightfully to the Hebrew people. So the mission was considered as completed once we own and have developed all Jewish holy sites. Additionally, we can extend our influence into Arabia and Egypt, or the matter of Canaan, uh, which is is the matter of missions that we've seen plenty of times before. Uh, and I think, honestly, the matter of Canaan would actually be really good for us early on. I'm not sure if it's better than the Promised Land, but it it would give me claims on everything here. But I mean, it's Invictus, it's a brand new mission tree that we've never seen before. I think we have to go with Promised Land because I want to see what happens here. Also, we get Reunite the Israelites for um, 600 months, giving us a war score cost uh, reduction of 10%, which is kind of cool. So, this is a fat mission tree. Let's have a look what we got. So, we got Diadoki. Um, 
task has unfulfilled conditions, so we can join either Ptolemy or Antigonus in their quest to restore Alexander's empire. Both may refuse, however, should their relations not be high enough. Should they decide not to escalate their conflict, then the task will be bypassed after 10 years. All right. We've got follow the steps of David and Solomon. So we need to own Ascalon, Aki, Elusa, and whatever that one's called, Gadara. Okie doke. Actually, only one of the five cities must fulfill the same criteria. Oh, so it just needs a great temple and a library, actually. Okay, but I don't own any of those territories. There's also Gaza here that I didn't. I missed out. Okay, uh, it's not a conquest one. It's one of those needs to have those criteria. All right, fair enough. Or into Canaan. Kedusa is owned by Judea or their subject. Uh, okay, so I basically need to um, conquer Kadasa and Shechem, uh, which means I have to fight the Antagonids. Oh, fun, 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 fun. So, basically, we need to side with one of the Daidoki. Um, and right now, I mean, that, that mission is impossible. None of these mission tasks are possible right now. So we basically need to wait until the Ptolemaic Kingdom and the Antigonid Kingdom go to war. If said war, uh, if it doesn't happen, say uh, the Antigonids give Ptolemy, like, all the land up to Syria, um, then we may be a little bit screwed, right? And we may need to restart. Uh, but that is just what it is. It's, hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, whatever. We also have some free idea slots. One oratory, two religious. So we're gonna go with... I don't like oratory at all. Theocratic monarchy is bad. What do we get? State religion habit is an omen power. Mm. We can go monthly corruption. We'll go... State religion, and we'll go origin myth. These are pretty, pretty, pretty terrible, to be honest. Um, what do we have as... Where is it? Government. Here we go. Also, lovely uh, new background. It's kind of cool. Diplomacy. We've got the Judean heritage. Fort defense. Pop conversion speed goes down. But that's not too terrible of a thing. We're not too worried about that. Religious tech investments up. So we're really good at religious tech investment. Getting a plus 50. 15%, I think? Yeah. Judean Heritage and Adonis. Uh, sorry. Wait. An Anoyas Sadakai is giving plus 130%? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, good. that's fine. That's fine. And then Adonis. Is that what this is? Is that called... That, where is where is that called Adonis? We got, I mean, we got that plus 5% religious tech investment. Is that called Adonis? I don't really no um could potentially be a deity no i don't know what adonis is unless one of these no interesting i don't know speaking of religion and, and all that kind of stuff we could choose mosid Mo mosid moses getting a free province investment we get two uh hebrew freemen we get plus 10% religious advances progress, or up to five pops in our territory will assimilate to Hebrew. Now, if we have a look at culture, we have only five pops that are not Hebrew. So I don't think it's really a good idea to do that just yet. I think we're we're good to stay with Hebrew for the moment. Uh, sorry, stay, stay without this being the case for now. Um, I think I like the idea of that... Um, Religious advances progress. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, or the proper the 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 extra province investment is also pretty dope. The Adonis is the title of the ruler. Oh, so it is. It totally is. Thank you kindly. Yes. Okay. So we're we're okay. We're cool. We've figured it out. And by we, I mean Lion has figured it out. Um, we're gonna go with Moses. So we've got a free province investment, which we're going to invest in our capital. And we're going to go with local city building. Right, that seems generally the most reasonable. Um, over here, I think religious advances to get open religion seems like a good idea. Though I don't know how soon I'm going to be able to build any great temples with our rather pathetic income. So maybe not. Um, in Oratory. 
He'll go down to census data, get those uh, Freeman. That seems like a decent idea. It's it's generally a pretty good opening, in my opinion. Also, going for tr town criers for their political influence is pretty decent as well. I think... Hmm... In Civic, what do we got in Civic? Citizen output is pretty good. Slaves need for surplus there. Freeman output could be interesting. More import routes as well. There's another import uh, uh, investment there. I have to think, what is going to help me in this early game? And the answer I'm coming down to is we're going to need to go to war with Antigonids or Egypt. Hopefully Egypt, not going to lie, I'd prefer to be at war with Antigonids because they tend to lose. Um, in that case, getting those extra freemen would be a good idea. Getting uh, five extra freemen in Jerusalem would be actually pretty good, and another province investment. Uh, getting the loyalty of characters would be good as well, so we'll go with that. We'll get centralized committees because I do tend to change my governor policy quite frequently. And yeah, we'll get census data. Now we've got one left. We could go into civic for import value. We could go military and get military artisans for another province investment, which wouldn't be the most terrible idea, I don't think. I think we'll do that. Uh, we are currently importing vegetables. I think I'm going to cancel that. And instead, I want to go with... Actually, what is our levy made up of? Our levy looks pretty shit. Not going to lie, that's not what I like to see. Four different types of units is awful, actually. It's it's real bad. That's, that's actu It's actually five different types of units. That's far too much. So that's not not fun. Don't like that. Um, but I think what I'll do is get livestock for the pop promotion speed. And I'll get earthenware for the Freeman output. I'll path to go near for you. Uh, I need to marry my ruler off to somebody. And we'll see what we can get. Oh, there's not a whole lot of options. They're both blood of Zadok as well. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Well, it might matter. I need somebody with high martial and finesse. Uh, you would improve both of those. Do I prefer three extra in finesse? I think I might prefer that three extra in finesse. For the commerce income. Well, that manpower recovery speed would be pretty useful as well. I think we'll go with the 6-6. Six, six. We'll go with the 6-6. Six, six. Splendid. Alright, we've got one fella here. He's my Rab Ericat, which I believe is one of these guys. Rab Ericat. Yes, it is. Well, enjoy free hands, my friend. Absolutely all of you can enjoy some free hands. Thank you kindly. And also, religiously, what do we got? We've got an 8. Uh, we can't improve you. Uh, we've got uh, another 8, who can be improved to a 7 plus obsessive. I kind of think that's a better deal. Let's keep looking, though. Because you are a 9. You could be swapped to an 8 with that. Uh, and you're a 13. You're definitely not getting swapped. Um, yeah, it's just you are the interesting option. You, We would reduce our percentage by one. But then gain obsessive. I think we'll swap you out. We'll do that. That seems like a decent idea. Hopefully that pays off in the long run. And I think that is all I want to do to start with. I got 157 gold. Is there something I want to build? I think I might want to build a forum, actually. Unfortunately, aqueducts are still terrible buildings. They haven't been changed. Um, 
We're making honey. We need 20 pops to change that. So, yeah. It's not going to do anything. I think a forum might actually be our best bet here. It would take the majority of our money, though. Mm, maybe a library, because we do have low tech. If you're planning to collect Bloodlands, maybe try and marry your primary heir to a Ptolemaic for the extra relations. That's not a terrible idea. Um, they don't like us very much, but we can spend 25 gold to improve their opinion. Let's try that. Um, this guy is a tributary, so we can't do anything with you just yet. We could attack Nabatea. Uh, we'd need to stop being a tributary first. But that is, that's a potential avenue of expansion as well. I think what we're going to do is unpause and see where things go. How does the mission tree look? The mission tree is, is pretty dope. It's, it's huge. Um, I don't want to like spoil myself by going into the various things, but at the moment we're waiting for this Daidoki mission, which means I need to wait until they're at war and we can, uh, ask, see if one or the other wants me to join them. Um, and then we'll see what we can do from there. But I don't really want to spoil the, the, the future of the, the mission tree. I, I do find um, seeing it as it cro crops up is, is a bit more fun for me, at least. So we just need to wait, I guess, until the Antigonids find that they wish to war. That's a new flag for Biosha. It's kind of nice. I like it. Uh, so we've got low food supply in Samaria. That is going to start going down. Uh, is there anything I can do about that right now? We could swap this over to encourage trade. How much is it going down by? 0.25. I think we leave it for now. Hopefully before that starves, we'll be able to conquer some more food provinces. I mean, that makes grain, so it shouldn't be too terrible. Like how many people are... Six people being fed by one grain. You would hope it'd be better than that, but I oh. will um, I think I'm gonna have to give this guy some silver. I can't afford for him to go disloyal. Alternatively, I could try and make friends with him. I will try and make friends with this man. Am I forgetting the winter system? I am indeed forgetting the winter system. So, it's, yeah, okay, I that's that's very true. So, during winter, we've got this modifier, which I will find in a moment. Where's the modifiers? Where's all my modifiers? Here they are. Uh, we're having a severe winter, so negative 100% local food in this area um, until the 1st of March, which is now. And then if I unpause and it keeps going, the severe winter will leave. Uh, we'll go with a the moderate there. So, unpause, severe winter will go. I think I just need to do... Mm. Maybe I need some monthly tick. Incompetent storage. Uh, let's gain some tyranny. Why not? Yeah, this is going to go away. The end of March. And now we start making... Yeah, nine food. Okay, so I, I just completely forgot about the that system. My bad. Uh, let's go with a large amount of... Uh, gold given to that guy. Make him my friend. Uh, we've got an extra building slot here. We do have a free investment. We've got two free investments. Uh, maybe local import routes would be better. We'll go with those. And then we'll do a small little bribe. And he will be our friend. Meaning that this is no longer going to be an issue. Naturally. 46. Fantastic stuff. Uh, also, maybe I want to scheme for influence. That might be a good idea. At the moment, we don't have any claims. How are you doing? You're at war with Makedon. Okay, so the Diadoki War has begun. And I can... Have you also joined the war? You have joined the war. Okay, so now we've got this Diadoki mission. 
Uh, 20 years after Alexander's death, his successors are still quarrelling over the remains of his once powerful empire. This has led to endless bloodshed, which is not good for trade. Might be able to solve this issue, though. So we'll see what happens. It is currently in progress. Since the fall of Jerusalem to Nebuchadnezzar the second, almost 300 years ago, the Davic Davidic line has not been able to fill the rightful position, the one of king. The descendants of David are the only legitimate worldly rulers of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Now we're finally free of any chains, they can finally be reinstated as kings. Daniel Davide, da Davidite, Davidite will lead us to a future where we do not depend on others, or yet worse, are subject to another's whims. So wait, am I going to lose Simon? But this guy doesn't even have a bloodline. Why does the the descendants of David, I would argue, probably should have a David uh, bloodline icon thing, you know? He does? Oh shit, he does. My bad. I'll take that all back. I am just stupid. Okay, so what are we losing? We got the blood of Zadok, Omen Power and Religious Tech Investment. Instead, we're going to get the blood of David. Yeah, I'm just stupid. Don't worry about me. Um, unrest and stability change. Okay. Praise the Lord. Oh, he good. Oh, he very good. Unfortunately, we already have a kid. Sorry, uh, a wife. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm Daniel. I do not have a wife. The fall of the Laganian line. The Lagania li family have long been an integral part of the internal politics of our kingdom, but where they once drove innovation and exemplified civic duty, they have over time increasingly become associated with complacency and misuse of the authority they hold by tradition. At this point, few would consider the Laganian lineage particularly notable. Okay, sucks for you. All right, the reason that I was confused there is because for literally every other bloodline that I know of, it's always been at the end. It's never been at the start. So, uh... Like, if we look at Antigonus here, never mind, his is at the start, I'm looking stupid. Yep, I'm looking pretty dumb. I'm looking, I'm looking pretty dumb right now. What about yours? His is at the end, his is at the end. Yeah, yeah, okay. What about the Marians? Patron of, no, no, there, Blood of Chengru. You know, there were, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what? It is whatever. We're not married. Let's arrange a marriage. No possible characters. Balls. What about... Uh, do we do we have a look at the families? Right, the Zadokites are still here. Shit. Um, if only you weren't married. And I think how long ago were you married? Like a couple of months ago. So look at characters. Uh, we're not looking at adults, unfortunately. Uh, we're looking at... Female children. There are none Zadokites. Okay. But, what I am expecting to happen... Is, like, you, with this blood of Zadok, will have a child, or you, or you, or you... Like, there's a bunch of people here that could have children. And then once they have children, we will hopefully be able to, say, get my Judah Davidite here to marry said person. That seems like a reasonable thing to me. There's no one that I can marry right now, unfortunately. Although, isn't there a... Yeah, we can scheme to seek a spouse. Hmm. Or we could try and marry a Lagid. That's true. We need to get you to 25, though. We're only at negative 6. And we are already improving relations with them. I don't think we have any claims, so there's no claims to give up. But we'll also see when we go here. Do you actually have any... Charitas? Uh, females... Uh, if we sort by age... We've got you, who is... Oh, you're a Zenonid. All right, we're looking for the blood of Antipatris. Oh, hello. Antipatris and Ptolemy right now. So if you have a child, let's just pop you on that. If you have a child, that's going to be good for us as well. Okay, all right, all right, I'm chill. Uh, also, we are no longer 
a vassal of the Antigonids. So we could just go ahead and declare on Nabatea, but it's probably a bad idea still. Alright, what we need to do is wait for this to see how that progresses. And we'll have a look then. I'm not going to trade with you. Actually, what I want to do is accept all trades, block surplus. Yeah. Also, we should probably find someone better to get sheep from. So we'll cancel that route and we'll get livestock from someone else. Uh, like... Honestly, that's fine. We'll go, we'll go with the Seleucids. The Davidites are scorned. Okay, let's have a look here. We could swap you out for a, 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 a Davidite. Ugh. If I show families... I want to go back to my own nation. Okay, this is a little bit still laggy. When you're looking at... I think I'm looking at Egypt still, aren't I? Um, mm -mm -mm. To join Ptolemy needs plus one opinion of me. Oh, okay. So we Davidite at one out of three. Uh, we can swap out a Likluliket. Should I have a look at my offices? Like you, Lignaniats, don't care about you anymore. Go away. And this guy, Lignaniat, don't care about you. Although we could swap you instead. Yeah, that's better. All right. So I need you to have a plus one opinion of me. I guess then, in that case, we'll send a gift. Yeah, we'll just send a gift. Or give him military access. Like that should now change. It's now plus five. I mean, you're unhappy, but who cares? And we'll do another commercial venture in a moment. But first... Some dates would be fantastic. Let's trade dates with you. We should get a trade thing going on. Once again, the heirs of Alexander the Great wage war upon each other for the remains of his once great empire. This time we have the opportunity to strike a deal with our neighbours and get a step closer to restoring David's kingdom. We can either support Ptolemy or Antigonus's claim. However, uh, we will not do it for free though. We will demand Jewish land be returned to its rightful owner. So if I follow Ptolemy... Right, what, what is he talking about with Jewish land, though, right? How much uh, is it, like, this this up here that we get? But, like, if I was to support Antigonus, would he also, like, if, if Antigonus ended up winning, would he give me this? And I, I, obviously, we're going to go with Ptolemy. We're going to go with Ptolemy. We're going to go with Ptolemy. Because it seems like the most reasonable and the easiest. Um, let's be honest. And Samaria can eat dick. So I don't want to join him. So, does that mean we're now at war? Today our messenger returned with good news. Antigonus and Ptolemy are fighting again this time. However, we'll be speeding the war up to reduce the bloodship. We're now at war. This time, however, we will speeding the war up. Yeah, that might need looking at. But we gained some manpower, which is great. And now I'm at war. So, let us do war. Um, mm -mm -mm. Hey, you, buddy. You want to give me military access? Yes, you do. Good boy. What I want to do is split this force. Half are going to go to Aki. The other half are going to sneak around and take Rafala. And then they're going to take this uh, fortress. Oh, let's go into Ptolemaic Kingdom. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, don't, I guess I don't get to decide what I get then. I'm, I'm fighting for Ptolemaic claims. This initially seemed like a great idea, but now less so. Oh, but yeah, we'll totally... Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, we're just going to sack everything that isn't Jewish. Although, Katasa is Jewish. So are you. Okay, so maybe... Hmm. 
Influenced by the Antagonid Kingdom, are we? We're 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 fighting we're fighting them, but okay. We've seen a lot of interactions between our people and our Hellenistic neighbors in the Antigonid Kingdom, and that some of our citizens have started bringing back the Antigonid traditions home to Judea. We've newfound knowledge at our hands. Conflicts are starting to rise up between those who want to stick to our traditions and those who want to look forward and try the new ways. As we move forward, we should put an end to the conflict and decide what path we should follow, if we should accept these new teachings or not. So we either go, yes, and get some uh, research points, uh, and a couple of Hebrews turn Hellenic, or we say nay, and we get more manpower and stay rich in happiness. I, I like 10% extra research points, what can I say? Should I just, like, fucking ignore everything that's going on down here, march north and start sacking stuff up north? Also, breakthrough, perfect. I mean, weight modifier would be good. What would be the best thing for us? I think maybe we start doing a bit more trade. Citizen output would be good. We don't know. We have bad research ratio. Do citizen output. Yeah, I think we start. We we just ignore everything that's going on down here. To, oh my god. Right, because that was the provincial capital. Makes sense. Note to self, ignore the provincial capitals and just keep going. That makes sense to me. We'll just ignore the provincial capitals. We're going to go sack, like, these three cities. Palmyra is going to get fucking sacked. We're, we're going we're gonna to show the Ptolemies that we're on board because we just fought their army and lost men in their fight. Look at how useful we are. Guess what? None shall hide. Let's keep going. Oh my god! Oh my god, no! Fuck. That's a larger army than I was willing to fight. Shit. Uh, we can run away in like two days. And we, of course, will be doing so. Where do we run, though? <laughs> do we do we do do we pull the sneaky and run to Palmyra? I think we pull the sneaky. Let's run to Palmyra. We actually lost less than they did, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, there's mercs. Those are bloody mercs, the bastard. Also, let's uh, let's build. Let's build an academy and a court of law in our capital. <laughs> that was dramatic. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Just a bit. So yeah, we're going to pull the sneaky, get Palmyra. That means all of this will fall to him. It's a shame that we won't be able to sack Sora, but whatever. Actually, we might be able to because maybe the fort will stop it from falling, potentially. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out. We're still going to sack the shit out of Palmyra, let's be honest. And sacked for 110. Oh, oh, the mercs have buggered off. Oh, fantastic. Let's move back again. Yeah, those merc that, that was definitely the army that I just fought, and now he's no longer fighting. So that's fantastic. It's great stuff. Good news! In your test runs, you conquered 90% uh, of the Antigonids for Egypt. That's sick. Uh, also, we're going to grab ourselves... Uh, spices? Put hips? We can soon get extra spices as well. Fantastic. I don't know if I will siege 90% of the Antigonids for Egypt, but what I will do is sack all of their cities. Oh, some pink sails. Wait, was that the provincial capital? No, it wasn't. I didn't siege this one, did I? I don't think I did. Alright, whatever then.
Ooh, and Cypress is also falling. Good news for the Antagonids, for sure. Invictus died, Doki CB change. Yeah, true, but I thought that was you still needed to get the provincial capital. Maybe that's not the case. Like, here, he'd need to siege this one to get the entire area. I don't think this will do it. Apparently, that does it. Okay, interesting. Why? That was not the provincial capital when I sieged it. It was down here. That's just weird. Uh, maybe it's because forts and armies. I still thought it needed the provincial capital, though. I guess that's a good way of telling if there's an army in the area or not. Like, Palmyra has been... The provincial capital's moved up to Bertha Asparogu. Fair enough, then. Alright, let's go get Chaliban. This one shouldn't flip over because of uh, that fort in Antigonia. Am I at war with you? No. And it's some more money. Uh, that's being sieged by the Seleucid, so I'm going to go up here. Did you have a kid yet? No, you didn't. And we're going to grab ourselves some more spices. Nice. Yeah, that should make all of this fall, and then I think I'm going to go and start sieging Antigonia. All right, fuck you, buddy. Yeah, I feel like this thing where it flips should totally be decided by sieging the provincial capital. I'm not sure I'm in favor of it just being any old province. It, it should be the provincial capital. I mean, we've seen that, we've seen, you know, the, the provincial capital should be important. And I feel like that maybe is reducing the importance. I don't know if I'm in favor of that. Oh, uh, okay. Aeneas Edekite's having problems. Uh, Simon dreams of high office. Simon was really good, actually, so totally I'm fine with giving him a job. Either as my religious researcher, but you don't have polymath, so maybe not. Uh, then instead, I will pop you in a job as... Probably... Oh, I, I don't want to swap ahead of a great family, so I'll swap for you. What job did he want, actually? Court philosopher? I just put him as the court philosopher. Balls. Alright. Let's just give him the job. Wait, what? It just removed him from the job. What the fuck? Go back. <laughs> well, that's rude. Don't take the siege from- He took the siege from me! Seven, but- Yeah, okay, whatever. Fair enough. Rude. Very rude. Big rude. Not a fan. What happens if they don't honor their promise? <sighs> I guess we'll find out. Or I hope we don't find out, but I guess we'll probably find out. Knowing my luck. Alright, if there's an army here when I siege this, then... We we will know it, mate. Big rude. Yeah, I definitely think right. Honestly, hundred percent. I'm on the uh, of the opinion it should be the provincial capital that needs to be sieged, not just any territory. Oh come on! I was there. F oh. Doing so much in this war, 
and they just don't even care. Don't peace out. Okay, there we go. See, that one's mine. 130 ducats. Could have got a few more like that. Uh, let's buff up our city again. We'll build... Actually, marketplaces have been improved in Invictus, so I think I'll have a marketplace. I think I'll have a library as well. And I'll have a forum and a training camp. Alright, senior sitting by the name of this guy approaches me. He wants stuff. You want loyal yeah, I'll just give you some loyalty. Or do I gain stability? I think I'm good for stability. We'll take good care of him. I'll give me give me the money. Could have sacrificed him for more money, actually. I feel like I'm giving the Um the Egyptians far too much power. I really should stop giving them so much power. But I also want more money. Entice governors. <laughs> That's entirely a thing that I could do as well, yeah. Alright, I'm here first. Go away. I'm sieging. Any cities up here? I think I've done my bit. I think I might go home. Making the Antigonids too strong would be... Sorry, making the Ptolemaics too strong would be a mistake. I think I may have already fallen into that trap. We just need to wait until this war is over and we'll uh, see from there. It shouldn't be too long. How how You're ailing, so yeah, it's it's not going to take too long then. The fact that Daniel Davidite is yet to marry. Um, hey, Miriam, how are you? You're weak-willed and cautious. I'm good. I'm chill. No need to marry yet, buddy. We'll have a look at our characters again. Show the Judean characters. We will have a look for females, not adults. We've got a Blood of David, but obviously we don't need that. Have you got a kid yet? No. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a child for my child, right? Because I already have a child, right? I want you to have a, a marriage. As my heir. Pretty sure you are my primary heir, right? No! Aeneas Sadakite is. Why is that? From modifiers. Like, what? What modifiers would... Those be? Like, what modifiers, though? Primary heir. That, that's it? You just you just have primary air just for no reason. I need ninety legitimacy and I can fix it. We'll just anoint you. I mean you do have nineteen supporters, but fuck you. Judah is primary air. Let's have a look at your characters again. I wanna see. Uh, not adults, females, yeah. We're looking at people like you would be great. Can I royal marry you to my kid? No, balls. Um, I mean, we've got Philoterra here. She needs to be 12. I think you are the best option, though. Ptolemy and Antipatris, getting those both in. We're gonna we're gonna star you. We're gonna unstar you. We don't need you anymore. I think if I can get my child to marry that 
uh, Filatera, that is going to be the best case scenario. He's nine. She's fucking ten. So yeah, it's, it'll be, it's actually perfect. And he loves the fuck out of me. So I mean, yeah, we're 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 totally chill. Absolutely chill. I can go after Nabatea and peacefully unite with the Sumerians. Yeah, going after the Nabataeans would actually be a good idea. So we'll go and get a claim. I don't know if there's a mission for it, but whatever. <sighs> but we can't disband while at war. We need to be at war. We need to be at peace. Uh, second city, we're going to go there, there, and there. Third city. Do that. Just do a little bit of development. Should look at my potential missions and plan for them. Nah, I don't like doing that. I know it's a terrible idea, but I, I honestly really don't like doing that. Daniel Davidite can invariably... Daniel? I thought I was... Div oh, no, Dav Yeah, Whatever, never mind. Daniel can be invariably counted on to the wrong thing at the wrong time. Ugh. Welp, I'm now foolish. Well, whatever. I can vassalize Nabatea via a mission task. Oh, okay. How is Mr. Antigonus doing? Poor health. Shan't be long. Don't make your capital a metropolis. A mission reward does it. Nabatea can refuse and you get a claim. Okay. Well, I mean, I've already spent the, uh, the points, so... Whatever. Is fine. Yeah, I can just marry anyone, really. It doesn't matter. Let's scheme for influence again. Actually, we, yeah, we didn't do it with this character yet, did we? Um, everywhere is pretty happy. The promised land can be completed. Did you did you finish your war? You did. That is just a peace sign. Lovely. Okay, so. Let's see about the promised land. Now that the war has ended, we shall ask for that land promised to us. Big crossed fingers going on now, because if they say no, it's basically a restart. We aided them against their opponents. Now they honour their promise. The lands of our ancestors will be returned to us without any further bloodshed. What a joy. May the Lord smile upon them. I think we have to unpause, though. Hell yeah, look at that. You move away. Yeah, that's that's a pretty sick amount of extra land. Fucking love it. We've got Abel. And, and, and other things. Huzzah. So, we could incite a rebellion in Canaan. Canaan was ours. Now the time to strike has come. We could start destabilizing the invaders. Every territory not owned by Samaria or Judea that has Hebrew majority living there will receive unrest incited. Um, would, uh, would that, who, who would have that kind of land, though? Because this is, like, Phoenician, right? That's all Phoenician. Is there actually any land up here that fulfills those criteria? Because I don't think there is. Actually, it's Nabataean land. It's only Nabataean land that would get that. There are parts of Canaan which have resisted our conquest and remain deaf to his word, blind to his light. Our agents in those decrepit places have set about angering the locals and getting them to blame the authorities which chain them. This will make our conquest of the land that much easier. We've seen a great saviors uh, that we are. Holy fire burns of the city's riot. Fantastic. Well, with that said, we're going to put an end to this episode. It's a pretty long one. Um, this is just for YouTube, so if you're watching on Twitch... Uh, just, just keep watching. Uh, for the people on YouTube, you should come to Twitch. There's a link in the description. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.